Forgive me, Father of Tools, for I have sinned. It's been a week since my last confession. Um, I own crappy screwdrivers also. Sorry, Father, it wasn't just the pliers. I have piles of crap in multiple tool categories. Um, yeah. Okay, well. All right, son. You can fix this. Oh, well, thank you. How? Uh, yeah, go say a couple of... Go say a couple Hail Marys and, and whatnot and uh, get really get, get a few beers in you and get on Amazon with your credit card. You could solve this, okay? Think German. Yes, Father. Okay, we're out of here. Goodbye. Woohoo! Now, uh, last week we had the uh, Tecton pliers. Don't mind my other very fancy plastic nippers, but yes, our, our Tecton plier set. We've used them, we built some cool stuff with them. Go check out my Ghostbusters Gizmo video. Um, but yeah, we needed new screwdrivers. I'm building a 16 scale model tank, so precision is key. And uh, I broke, I had some actual fancy, fancy stuff. This is from 20 years ago. This is an RC company, Hootie, my one and a half millimeter. It just, uh, the tip freaking exploded the other day. Um, and I never had a match set. I have this Trinity 2mm, which is also a nice, expensive, 20-something dollar RC Company tool. These RC companies, though, they just... Now everybody makes some crap like this from China. This is like a 3mm, has the three stripes. It's actually kind of cool there. 2.5mm, two big stripes, one small stripe. Obviously, 1.5mm. And I never got the 2mm in this set. Because I already had this one, and I was like, well, I don't need this. Oh, God. It just, it annoyed me not having a matching set, even though these were actually halfway decent. But they're all retired also now. We've got our Weeha, um, engineered and made, well, not made in Germany. These, the, the precision stuff is made next door to Germany. Uh, Poland. But whatever. They're still fantastic. The, uh, come on. There we go. And look at this! Look, we ha are not a pile of flaming assholes. You can... God damn it! Sorry, guys. We lost the... We already lost the driver. Where did you go? Oh! Ah, it's right next to a dead cockroach. I am in a basement in Georgia. Okay. But the cockroach is dead because we spray poison everywhere. Now the dogs are barking because I made a racket. Um... You know, there's Reddit slash R slash asshole design, and that's basically any clamshell on planet Earth. But this just snaps, snaps open and snaps shut. That's great. Look at these little Weeha hex drivers. These are super tiny. I've got sizes in here I don't think I'll ever need. Of a 0.7 millimeter, a 0.9 millimeter, um, the two millimeter we we use we use two millimeter a lot in my hobby. <clears throat> two point five millimeter happens pretty regularly. Ah, the one point five, our little baby one. So these, oh man, these are nice tips. Let me let me, let me get a little fastener. See, we use a lot of set screws, but a little tiny, itty bitty. God, get up. Come on. Are you too good? Come home. Little tiny set screws that we need. Oh, oh, that fits so nice. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. This is more accurate than the set screw. But, yeah, we put a lot of these into tanks. So, we, we, oh, yeah, I beat on my miniature hex drivers. But we've got, we've got that. We've got... 1.3. I, I don't know where I would use a 1.3. I've never seen it in an instruction. 3.0. We use those from time to time. So really, it's the 1.5, the 2.0, the 2.5, and the 3.0. Those are the most used ones. And we have these three other mini ones as a bonus. Um, I have a cool little rack coming. I'm going to do a video on that. Uh, KC Tools makes an awesome, super tough, heavy, blocky uh, precision screwdriver rack. And then we have nuts. Nuts, guys. Yes, we have nuts. Um, I deal with some nuts on RC things, and it's a pain in the ass. Um, so, like, I have, in particular, I'm building a German model tank. The tool guys have no idea what's going on right now. 
the tank guys or the modeling guys, I'm also going to post this to you, but I have these little six millimeter hex bolts to put in the bottom of my German Tiger II, Tiger B, King Tiger, whatever you want to call it, uh, tank. And it needs a, uh, not that size, a five and a half millimeter. And there you go. Perfect. And what was I using? Every RC guy knows what these are. The stupid cross wrenches. And it's just super, super sloppy on that nut. No one likes being on a sloppy nut. You like a nice tight fit on your nut. This is beautiful. Lovely. So we got all our little nut drivers. We've got all metric, by the way, a three millimeter, a four and a half millimeter, a three and a half millimeter, two and a half millimeter, that's pretty tiny, a four mil, five and a half mil, uh, five mil, and this looks like a, like a six mil, millimeter. Uh, we do occasionally have six millimeter nuts that we, we need to tighten. These are also beautiful. We're going to get to like the handle and everything review in a second. More not crappy packaging. Pops right open. So you can pop them. You could store them in here if you were like a psycho. Um, oh, we did get a magnetizer. Demagnetizer. Because uh, I, like I like to have my tools magnetized. If you're working on certain electronics, you might not want them magnetized. Weha does not magnetize your tools by default. But for like five bucks, they sell a beautiful magnetizer. Much nicer than some of the other ones I've seen, and it says Weeha, so it matches my tools, and I'm one of those douchebags. Um, and then we have the screwdriver set. And this comes with a little pouchy thing, which I I don't use these. And I said I ordered a stand, but let's take a look at these. We've got our PH0 and our PH1. Usually the smallest things any of you tool guys would use. But we also have a PH double zero a double aught ph and then let's get freaking crazy guys this is like for eyeglasses or watches triple zero phillips beautiful look at that cute little baby it's so adorable and we got a uh a 4.0 flathead and a 3.0 flathead these are beautiful the finish is like velvet it's so satiny, very satin finished. Um, we got a 2.0 flathead. And we got this ultra micro 1.0. Like, I don't even know if you guys can see, but that's another one of those. Like, so freaking small, you're not believing there's a screw in the world that this fits. But there are. I've run into them. Um, there are. So, um, the pouch fine it's a pouch it says weeha it closes it velcros it says weeha there too that's fine okay um so yeah so let's like if we get into the the nitty gritty on these um all these all these little garbage things professional look look at this it's just and then they rip right the hell off you know they're just they're just they're fine. I mean, uh, fuck it. I'm part of my French. Um, it dropped. This one, there's no play. It's smooth action. It's not like it's like there's a ball bearing in there smooth, uh, you know, or there's a, br it's more like a, yeah, like a bronze bushing level of smoothness, even though we know it's plastic on plastic. And this has nice, the facets, you get a nice grip on those. So when you're, when you're, when you're getting down on stuff, you put your palm into it and, you got, you got some nice purchase on these facets. And when you're getting really fine, there's even finer little things here. And the plastic feels fine. You know, you feel a bit, a bit of the, the, you know, the mold lines a little bit. Um, you know, if I wanted to get crazy, I could, I could sand them down. Like, there's a little bit of flash here. Okay? I think that's the work of, of maybe being molded in Poland versus Germany. But again, we, we could get rid of that flash very easily. Actually, we have a fancy tool for removing flash. We have a glass nano file. So let's see. Taking it to a brand new tool. There we go. It actually polishes the plastic. There we go. No more flash. 
I see it actually makes it shiny. That's final. That file is like a twenty thousand grit or some something crazy, ten thousand. But these these are beautiful. So again, I have a rack coming for these. Nice billet aluminum or whatever. And there, jeez, I, I didn't think it would be this many when I ordered all these sets. I was also drunk, and I was on Amazon at like two in the morning, and I just said, "I want new screwdrivers because I'm a special boy." But yeah, so we got our new screwdrivers. There we go. So now we're like on a roll. We got new pliers, and we got new screwdrivers, and it just makes me want to build stuff even more. And these are gonna get—I don't know what I do with all these. I'd feel bad just chucking them in the garbage, like. But I'd also feel bad donating them to a school because I'm like, oh, you got to learn with that piece of garbage. And there's no shop classes anymore uh, that I'm aware of. So I don't know what to do with all the screwdrivers. Um, if someone maybe wants to definitely subscribe and then say something horrible about me in the comments and whichever comment is the most insulting, uh, you can have all these garbage drivers, maybe. It, that's a good option. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Uh, whoever insults me the best, obviously, no profanity in the YouTube comments. Keep it PG, PG. I would say PG thirteen, but they start to, they say they say shit and goddamn it in PG thirteen movies all the time. The video doesn't need to be PG. Comments though, keep it keep it subtle. Um, but yeah, yeah, best insult wins the lot of all these stupid drivers, and you'll even get some museum pieces from Hootie and from Trinity. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, that's about it. All right, guys. Um, that's the end of my, my tool video. I'm not good at this, but I'm just happy I got new screwdrivers. See you next time!